Hello, my friends. Welcome to some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, it is three in the bastard morning. Uh, I've just finished downloading the PS5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, along with Intermission. And how cool is that? You got Yuffie's freaking throwing ninja star, whatever it is. Uh, welcome, everyone. I thought for sure that the next time I would be saying welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake that we'd be playing part two. This is not part two. This is some sort of, well, intermission. I see what you did there, Square. Very, very clever naming. Uh, the PS5 version has just released, and with it we get this extra episode, which um, I believe is like two chapters long, so not going to be a very long playthrough. But it is centering around everyone's favorite teenage ninja materia taker, uh, Yuffie, uh, who I was never the biggest fan of in the original, but I I'm very excited to see what they do with her in in the remake, even though... Am I the only one that finds it weird that we got DLC? Because this is DLC. This is pretty much DLC. Yes, if you buy the PS5 version, without upgrading from the PS4 version, you get it included. It was so, it was so confusing when they announced this thing. Um, but we're starting it right now. We're starting it right now. New game. Uh, yeah, I. it seems weird to me that we're getting DLC, but I'll take any more of the remake I can get, because part two is probably quite a ways off yet. Um, so are they going to do with Yuffie, what I, uh, what they did with Aerith, because Aerith, in the original for me, was never a great character, I didn't really like her too much, and in the remake, I absolutely adored her. Are they gonna do the same for Yuffie, because I never, I never took to her. I used her occasionally, but wasn't my favorite at all. So, enough blabbering mage, uh, we're gonna go with default. We're gonna go with... Oh, they've added normal classic. That's cool. Because that was never in the original base version of the game. We're gonna go with normal, though. Because I really do like the, uh, the combat system. And yeah, I have no idea what to expect from this. I saw that first trailer, and then I've kind of ignored anything else that they released about it. Uh, so this is just a standalone thing, uh, separate from the main game. But as far as I know, it's only the PS5 version that can have access to this. Uh, which sucks if you own a PS4. And can't get a PS5, because they are still rarer than rocking horse shit, and why is nothing happening? Is it... is it broken? Black screen. Um, should I reload it? Should we? Ch Why is nothing happening? Oh, I'm still very, I'm still very much. It's the gate. The the PlayStation hasn't crashed. Um, I'll be right back. Let's try this again. Um, I don't know what the hell happened there. It's letting me continue as if I even started the bloody thing. Um, resume playing from where you left off. I never even started playing. Wutai's finest, Sector 7 slums. Should I just continue from there? What if I miss a cutscene? Let's just start a new game and see what happens. Normal. Saving game data. Here we go. Oh, the detail on that. Pom-pom. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Oh, the Wutai theme. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew it. I knew it wouldn't be that graceful. Oh, Yuffie. You got this, Yuffie. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie, materia hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche! With your full support! We got this! This is some shiny balls. So, members of Avalanche? Where are you? Come get me already! Uh... Hey, kitty. Okay. If I was a man in a Moogle hat. Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> Okay. Sector 7 slums, outskirts, first challenge. We are controlling Yuffie. And this thing that she's wearing, this poncho, isn't... I believe it's from another Final Fantasy game. One of the, uh, the compilation of Final Fantasy 7. I... I don't know which one. It may have been... Was it Cry... No, it wasn't Crisis Core, was it? It was one that I don't think I really played much of anyway, but uh, it's cool that they reference it in this DLC. Um, let's let's check uh, Yuffie out. Let's see what she's got. Okay, level 25. Um, am I the only one that as a kid pronounced her name Yuffie? Like, I, I think I did it with, with Tifa as well. I just called her Tifa, which is terrible. It's absolutely not how they're supposed to be said. But as a kid, I had no idea. I was dumb. Uh, I still am. Okay, materia and equipment. What has she got? Four point shuriken. And a ninja armlet. And her ability is elemental ninjutsu. So, obviously, Yuffie is a completely new character. I'm going to have to learn how to use her. It's actually been a long time since I've played the remake. I've dabbled with some of the hard mode. Um, but I'm I'm pretty rusty, really, with the uh, with the combat system. Weapon upgrade. Uh, let's see if we can boost a weapon a little bit before we begin. Ooh, that's pretty. Also, I'm very excited to check out the PS5 version of of the base game as well because apparently it, it just looks really really nice. It was already a super pretty game, so. But, uh, anyway, so, should we get some more HP? What else have we got? Magic attack power, attack power. AP up. Oh, interesting. We'll get that. We want to be leveling up our materia. Because Yuffie likes her materia. If that wasn't already painfully obvious with her little intro. Um, thievery allows you to use Mug. Ooh. I'll take that as well, please. And that's about all we can get right now. So, the material that she comes with is... This music's great, by the way. Um, steel material, okay. So, I take it... Now, if we use steel, it'll turn into mug, and it'll do damage as well as steel. She's got deadly dodge. Which is one of those materials that I don't think I really use too much in the main game. Healing. Okay, good. She's already got Cura. Parry. That's another one that I really need to practice using and assess. Okay. Has she got any materia not equipped? Oh, we do. Oh, she's got a good, a good supply. I think I'm going to equip the Steadfast Block. Or maybe... Uh, maybe I want some more magic. We'll, we'll give her the fire materia. 
actually. Yeah. Ninja armlets. I don't think she's going to have anything else to equip on that, is she? Nope. Okay. Oh, what does it do? Doubles the amount of AP earned for all materia. Oh, damn. And uh, we have no accessories for her. Okay. Battle settings. Uh, I have no... <laughs> again, no idea what her abilities are. So I'm not going to bother too much with these shortcuts yet. Um, and that's, again, something in... When I played this originally, I tend to not use the shortcuts too much. Because I always forget what they are. I forget what I've set. And I prefer going through the menus occasionally. Just sl slows things down, because this... This combat system can get pretty hectic. Uh, right. Okay. Well, I think... I think we're good to go. Can I go in here? Nope. I feel like I should be able to jump with her. Ooh. Okay. She got some kicks. I mean, she is a ninja, after all. So, whereabouts? I mean, it says Sector 7 slums outskirts. Oh, we got some enemies. We got some rats or something. This music's so nice. Yuffie's strengths. She can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press square to strike a foe with a throwing star. And continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Oh, you hold it to do that. Precision defense. Guarding just before an enemy lands a hit will greatly reduce the damage Yuffie takes. Ooh! Oh, she is so nimble. And I have no idea what that ability is. Wow. What abilities have I got? So, that's throw. Okay, so that's my range, but when I get close, she just kind of attacks with it. Whoa! Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Alright then. Um... She controls very differently from, you know, the regular cast. By pressing triangle, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at the target. Press square while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time to retrieve it sooner. Press triangle again. Okay. So... That's kind of her gimmick, or... Ah, that's what I was doing before then. Okay. Some freaking ninja magic. And then I can just summon the... The, the weapon back. Oh, yeah, she's so far very fun to use. I haven't really used any of her special abilities yet, though. It's good to be playing this game again. Uh, destroying objects. By pressing triangle, she is capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. All right. I, a lot of high potions. Can I jump over there? No. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, we got a crane. Oh! Hey, that's cool! Make way for the amazing oh, shit. The amazing Yuffie. Oh, we got a lesser Drake as well. Okay, so I think I should probably be assessing these things. Once I get my ATB, of course. Also, must remember to block. Right, let's, uh, let's assess them. Okay, so... Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's square attack. It deals non-elemental damage at first, 
Pressing left or right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Oh! So, I guess she doesn't really need the elemental materia then, if that's the case. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, Ice Ninjutsu, Lightning. You could just basically select whatever element you want her to use. That's really cool. Um, let's just assess these things. Large rats that run rampant throughout the Undercity. The weak to ice. Okay, so let's try. Ow. Ow! You dick. Um, I'm poisoned as well. Great. I think we should probably heal ourselves. I want to use some ice ninjutsu on these guys. Gosh, she is so, oh, so acrobatic. Will you fuck off? Oh, I need to. I need to get rid of this guy. He's pissing me off. He's probably weak to wind. Um, but I need to cure myself again. with a fire spell. Yeah, it's not weak to that. Oh, gosh. So let's do a wind ninjutsu. Oh, proficiency gain. Oh, yeah, we're wrecking him. We are wrecking him. Dude, that's cool as hell. That is really cool. So let's go ice. Wow. So I don't think it's it's not her physical attacks that changed with the elements, it seems. It's just your ninjutsu, which would make sense. So if you throw your weapon and then attack with square... That uses your ninja. Okay, so it's going to take me a little bit to, to get used to this. Just like it did fighting with the other characters. Um, Alright, this is good. This is good. Uh, that's a big warehouse. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's another dude. Number 11. No palm. Nope, that is not a, not our contact. Okay. Anybody home? <sighs> nope. He's got something else on his mind. Mark of the Moogle. Reunion. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. I guess not. Can be used to strike more than just crates. Try tossing it at hard to reach objects such as distant switches. Okay then. That thing's gonna come in handy. Mm, Yuffie, definitely as confident as uh, as I remember her being in the original. But yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just glad that we've got more remake, honestly, because I, I loved it. It was so good, and while I didn't expect any DLC, I'll certainly take it. Because, like I said, it, we're probably gonna have to wait a long time for part two. Um, let's uh, see if I can assess these things. Oh, we're pressuring him. I am taking a lot of damage, though. I'm getting poisoned left, right, and center. Do I even have any, like, 
antidotes? I don't. I only have high potions. Okay. Um, let's go for an assess. Weak to ice and magic. They drop... Oh, we can steal antidotes from them. Very fun. All in a day's work. But yeah, I will I will show off some of her other abilities as soon as I can. Let's heal ourselves. Let me go this way. Nice. Go this way too. Make sure I'm not missing any items or crates. Oh, there's materia over there, Yuffie. I think you'll want that. I love the little hints of the Wu Tai theme. That's great. Always one of my that was even though I wasn't the biggest fan of Yuffie in the original, I was a massive fan of Wu Tai. Just that whole area, the music, the vibes. Loved it. Ooh, we do have an item. Two high potions. Let's go see what this materia is. I wonder if they've added any new materia for her. That, that, that Moogle poncho is adorable, though. The detail in the pom-pom. I mean, holy crap. Smash those crates. Oh, I didn't get anything for it. HP up materia. I I think I'm actually gonna have to equip that because I am taking a lot of damage right now. Question is, what do I get rid of though? Hmm. Also, I really should be using parry and stuff. Um I think we'll actually we'll we'll keep it off for now. Well, at least we got it. Hey, sweet. Something else I can throw something at. Oh wait, that just does the. Oh, that just brings that back. Okay, yep, that just brings that back down. Okay, no worries. was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if this is Yuffie's first time in Midgar, this is pretty cool to see. And this this is really the kind of thing that I really, really liked in the uh, in the base game, you know, the, the extra stuff. The, the stuff that wasn't in the original. That they've added... Some, some of it felt like filler, of course, but I just, I want to see more of this world. I want to, ooh, power wrist guards. I think we've got our first accessory, Yuffie. Increase our strength, defo. Now again, this is, if it's only two chapters long, I can't imagine this being more than like five hours or so of extra stuff. But it's still nice. It's still nice that we get it. Um, I just wish that it hadn't been so confusing about how you got this and if you had to pay or not. And isn't it strange that like the, the you, you get it free with the PlayStation 5 version if you buy the PlayStation 5 version? But if you get the free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version, you have to pay. Although, you can't... I don't think you can get the PS5 version upgrade if you have the digital version of the PS5. I, I, I was reading up on it. I was like, this is way too complicated. I'm just glad that I can play it, but 
yeah, like, holy crap square. Um, where are we going? Didn't miss anything down there, I don't think. How do we get down? There's a ladder. Oh! Looks like we're gonna have to bring that down somehow. Oh no, he's in trouble. Don't fear, Yuffie's here. You'll do the trick. Come on down. Yeah, I can't see it from here, Yuffie. We're gonna have to get a better vantage point. I'm sure that guy'll be fine. We can, we can, we can have a look around. But yeah, them just expanding on the original story and adding things like you know this mission with Yuffie. It makes me wonder, what other kind of things are they going to add? Are they going to do more DLC? Are they going to do DLC for part two? I mean, some of you might, the more cynical of us, might go, well, it's just square milk in the fuck out of FF7, because they know it'll sell. But can you blame them? And really, we're benefiting as well, because I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love the remake, so I'll play whatever I can get. I absolutely didn't ask for this, but I'm glad I've got it. And I hope it's fun. I hope it's uh, fun all the way through. But so far, Yuffie is, uh, is a delight to use in combat. The way she ran across that. Can we do that again? Yes! <laughs> I love that. That was great. Okay, rogue dude. I shall save you. Have no fear. Wayward wolf. Oh, shit. That wasn't very nice. So, yeah, let's try and... Uh... I want to try and do that block thing. Oh, there we go. That was the parry. Which I can just do, like, a lot. Oh, shit. Right, so, let, yeah, let's assess them. What are they going to be weak against? Ice again. Okay, so it will retaliate against any strike made, but dodging or guarding against its counterattack will make it susceptible to staggering. Alright, we could also steal a Mega Potion. I might try and steal. Um, and we have Art of War. Buffet- I nearly said Buffet. Buffet an enemy? No, Buffet an enemy with blows, and all subsequent attacks deal increased damage. Windstorm? Let's, let's show off Art of War. Let's do that. Very nice. Throat clamp. Ah, I dodged you. So, if I attack it, and then... Oh my god, it did so much damage to me then. I need to, I need to heal. I need to heal. You stay away from me. I need to heal. In fact, let's use a potion. Might need to. Heal. There we go. Oh, suck off! I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I died. Can you tell I'm a little bit rusty? Uh, yeah, we're gonna try that again. Oh my god. I didn't do that very well. Let's try that again, Yuffie. <laughs> Nothing happened. What are you talking about? This is our first try. Have no fear. You be here. Ow. Alright, so I know they're weak against ice. Let's go for some ice ninjutsu. <laughs> yes, take that weakness. One down, okay. Oh, 
you dick! That headbutt, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to block that. Fine, let's uh let's try and steal. Or mug, sorry. Oh damn it. I hate these dogs. Did I did I actually steal? That happened so fast. Um, cure yourself, you you think, please? Might as well. And let's see if I can block this thing. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. I cannot dodge that headbutt to save my life. Oh my god. Get it together, Yuffie. Look at that thing, attacking it. Yeah, have another one. You shithead. I was- I swear I pressed block then. Oh my god. If he hits me again, I'm done. Oh my god, kill him, kill him! I may need to practice. <laughs> I may need to practice. Th especially against those enemies. They sucked. They hit so hard with that headbutt. Cure yourself, Yuffie, for the love of God. Damn, dude. Right, so this is just going back. No, this is going a different way. No, oh, we came from this way, right? Is there anything over here? Climb any of this stuff? There's a pole there that I can slide down. Is there a ladder? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I, re I really am terrible at <laughs> the fighting. Um, but th especially... Th that's kind of what I liked about this as well. Was every enemy had a different kind of approach to stagger them obviously different weaknesses and stuff. So every fight felt different to me. It required different strategy. We are going very high up here, Yuffie. Why did we come up here? What was the point? Oh, there's materia up here! Wind materia, okay. But again, with her ninjutsu, it really does feel like you, you're you not going to need to rely on materia as much. You okay, buddy? Hurrah. Hurrah? Oh, are you cheering for me? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I need the ch I need the, all the, all the, uh, all the confidence boosting I can get, because, my god, that fight didn't go very well. Oh, spooky tunnel. That's some nice lighting. That's some nice lighting. And yeah, um, I've seen a screenshot of it, but I can't wait to see it in-game myself when I do play through this on the PS5. They fixed the fucking door. The door. You know, you know which one I mean. Apparently, it, it, well, yeah, I've seen it. It looks a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, the- oh, the lighting. Anything to do over here? No. God, Midgar just looks fucking incredible. I'm sorry, it does. I still think it's kind of weird that you see it in such daylight. You know, because in the original they made a big deal about it. you could not really being able to tell what time of day it was under the plate, but... I also like being able to see more of it like this. It looks so pretty. Kick those boxes. <laughs> Kickboxing! Ah! Oh, we got another one. Why are they all wandering around out here? Hello. Genova. Okay, got a door we can go through. Nothing else. No. 
This is too weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You got this. Alright, I'm I'm kind of taking a shining to Yuffie already. I'm not I'm not okay with this. Yuffie, you annoyed the hell out of me in the original. Well, no, you didn't really. You weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. There, no one in Final Fantasy VII other than... Uh, uh, well, I... It's, it's hard because I know a lot of people are experiencing Final Fantasy VII for the first time through these remakes. So I don't want to spoil anything. But... A lot of people that have also played the original, like me, uh, a certain character uses... Uh, a megaphone I'm not the biggest fan of. But every other character in the game doesn't didn't really bother me that much. Oh, we're on Scrap Boulevard. Okay. I know where we are now. Huh, okay. That Ron Nexnall's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. <laughs> I like how she talks Talk to, to herself. City's getting to me. I just... Oh my god, that's so spooky. I was just gonna say, I really like that she talks to herself. And then she mentions it. Gotcha. So many crates. So I'm not actually sure the timeline of this particular episode, like when this takes place in relation to, you know, the main events of, of the game. Obviously she's been told to meet up with someone from Avalanche. Well, yeah, I, I kind of, I tried to avoid as many trailers and spoilers as I could for this. And it's funny, because I don't tend to usually play DLC. I really don't. I, um... There's only been a couple over the years that I've really bothered to try out MP up materia. I usually just stick to, you know, the main game, and that's good enough for me. Um, but it's Final Fantasy. I've got, I've got to do it. Right. Sector 7 slums, here we go. Wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or? Uh, there was a few. There's actually, Scrap Boulevard is very quiet. Maybe this is after Cloud and Tifa have gone and like murdered everything. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? Since the bombings, okay. Not gonna be good for any of us. Wu Tai's got their claws in this. Local reactor five has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. Ah. The situation is under control, and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation. But we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? Who's this guy? Our palm. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, contact. Oh, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. I'm what? never going to know how to Wait say up. his name. Even though he just said it, I'm going to forget immediately. So, Jija, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W, anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh-huh. I mean, it's pretty so obvious. I can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying your fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Well, here we are. Ladies first. Yeah, well, I saw some materia. Oh wait, Biggs and Wedge! Jesse! 
Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? <laughs> oh, hi guys. I know you don't know me, but I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. That's cool that they put them in. I mean, it makes sense. This is Sector 7, and I believe it's probably taking place then after the Airbuster fight. I'm gonna guess. Esteemed Avalanche colleagues. Ah, oh, these are new digs. Avalanche's base. I don't remember this base. And we got a bench. Ah, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of liking Yuffie already. There we go, fully healed. Can I can I go and wander off and do my own thing in the, for a minute? I kind of want that materia. How do I get that materia? It's just it's just screaming. Hey, screaming, don't take want you me! Lost. Oh god, damn it! Is it gonna is it gonna let me leave? Hey, don't want you getting lost. Nope. Okay. We'll progress the story. This is the Sector Seven Clinic. Oh, hello. Is this gonna be a new weapon? Boomerang. Hey. Let's check that out. I mean, I'm gonna probably stick with her current weapon because I want to learn the uh, elemental ninjutsu. Which we've nearly learned anyway. Boomerang. Oh, look at that thing! Proficiency bonus, evade an enemy attack, brumal form. Evade an attack, A to B increases when successful, can use while airborne. Hey. That looks cool. That looks very cool. Freaking Moogles. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the New Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. She's practiced that so so many times you can tell. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. What? Uh. <sighs> but I did bring these. Wutai's famous dachau beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, can you eat these things? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> Do me a oh. favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a saying, Yuffie, it's a saying. Figure of uh, speech. Alright, let's chat with these, uh... Avalanche folk. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. 
which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see... So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. She's cute. She's real cute. Um, what is this material gonna be, I wonder? I'm very curious. Hi, Billy Bob. Or is this Polk? I can't remember. It's Billy Bob. Teeth. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Oh. So the material I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss mm -hmm. it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. I will do. Hi, Polk. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now. Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yuffie, you're impatient, just like me. Oh, that looks like a very complicated plan. Alright. Well, welcome to Midgar, Yuffie. Hey, you gonna be okay out there? Got all the info you need? I mean, I don't. I don't know. Do I talk to... I thought I, I've spoken to all of you. You didn't really give me much to go on. Sonon's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Oh. Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drink so bitter, you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. <laughs> They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. <gasps> Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Yeah. I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, huh? Oh. Collect those posters! You don't make our one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him! Man deserves some de chow beans. Oh, are they gonna have a side quest where you collect the flyers? Because that would be a cool little... little reference. That's really cool, actually. Um, okay. I'm just gonna chat to you guys again. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. It's that thing that stimulates modulation <laughs> kind of it's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want i need practice There's even a portable version of it guy around the corner has one uh -huh. is it chadley hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here so what do you say want to try it i sure do i really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator stimulator but just to be polite i guess i'll take it for a spin <laughs> The guy's name is Chadley. Yeah. Go by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Oh, we're definitely going to need to do that, because as you saw, I am... Uh, it's going to take me a little while to get to grips with uh, Yuffie and her abilities and... 
just the pace of the combat as well, because it has been a while. Um, okay, right, finally you again. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? What? Fort Condor? What? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. You feel you're a really bad liar. So you wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. No way. There's a Fort Condor mini game in this. No way. Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and materia to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Oh, is this going to be complicated though? Because as a kid, I always kind of sucked at the Fort Condor in the original. And this looks more complicated than that. All right, select a loadout. Well, that is my loadout, I suppose. I've got some guard dogs, security officers, grenadiers, slug rays, blast rays, riot troopers. And I have fire and cure. Starter board. Yes, confirm. Begin the match. Yeah, uh... Let's just wing it. <laughs> just condor. I like the mu the music's the the same. Oh, that's so cool. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march to, uh, forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. All right, so that's kind of similar then. Uh Oh, tight. Oh, God. They're just throwing me into this. Um, move your cursor at the spot you wish to deploy a unit. Press X. Okay. Shit. I guess I'll put down... What, what, what's good against... Oh, it tells me. Advantaged? Shield. Cross... Wait, so does that mean they get the advantage? Against range dudes? I have no idea. Place. Oh, security officer. Oh, no, they're good against them. All right. Okay. Oh, we gotta put one over here. Uh, we want, yeah, range dudes against you. Magic attacks. Material allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Press L1 to select a location to cast your magic. Okay. We did we Oh Oh no, we we won't. Okay. Uh magic. Fire. Wait. Oh no. Oh no, my dude died. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to be so bad at this. Hang on a minute. Alright. We don't have... Should we put a guard dog down? We're going to have to use magic on those things, surely. Put some slug rays down. Blast ray. Okay, so I can't use my fire. Th I must have used it. Oh, they put a turret down. You son of a bitch. Grenade deer. I am going to be so bad at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're about to attack my burb. Uh, slow gray. Defend it. I get like a better camera angle? I mean, we've nearly got one of the things down, right? Yeah, nearly got one of the. There we go. This guy's a problem, though. Can we. Let's, let's cure my dudes. There we go. Ah, 
we should we should win this now, right? We shoot that dude. Shoot him. Nice. Music's epic, man. Alright, I don't I can't use any more magic. Oh, one of my other dudes died. Can't send a guard dog down there. Can we can we not kill this turret thing? This turret is causing some problems. Battle finished! We did it! Dun dun dun! We got sentry gun prototype, defense, and a condor coin. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really bad at this minigame, guys. It's cool, though. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. That is truly beginner's luck. You didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? Ooh. That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! Hella Trooper Vanguard obtained? Sorcerer Board obtained? Headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Oh, but I want to go explore. Wow, I did not think there was going to be a Fort Condor minigame in this. Holy crap. That's really, really cool. Okay. Time to do some recon, Yuffie. Uh, can I just, like, save? I guess I can, yeah. So, I think actually, chaps, we're going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching the first episode of Final Fantasy VII Intergrade Intermission. Again, probably going to be a shorter series, but I'm, I'm going to try and do as much as I can. And uh, hopefully, next time, if we can get to the VR thing, I really wouldn't mind doing a little bit of practicing with, with her, because, uh, yeah. I think it's going to be a struggle otherwise, but maybe maybe as the as the game goes along, I'll I'll get better hopefully. But thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I'm going to link my original playthrough uh, playlist of the base game in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, please do like the video if you've enjoyed this, and let me know if you're looking forward to seeing more and if you're uh, going to be checking out this content as well. Yuffie, it's been fun. I look forward to uh, spending some more time with you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.